My name is Margaret Zuccotti and I am a stage 4 breast cancer patient. My youngest child um, was three months old and I was nursing him one night, it was late in the night, and um, I thought I felt a lump and I thought it would go away. It's very typical to have that sort of a situation when you're nursing but it didn't go away. And because I was under the age of 40, I hadn't yet had a mammogram. And my OB encouraged me to come in for an exam and to have an ultrasound. But after the ultrasound, they said, please stay here. We'd like you to have a mammogram. We see something irregular. And in fact, they saw a large mass that they insisted I have biopsied as soon as possible. I went up to New York City to Sloan Kettering on the advice of um, some doctors in our family and was able to receive a full diagnosis and to learn the extent of my breast cancer. And when it came time to think of what the treatment options would be, everybody assured me that Fox Chase would be an excellent place to go for my treatment. They said that Lori Goldstein, who is so well known for her work with aggressive breast cancers, would be the perfect match. And I came to Fox Chase for my treatment and uh, had seven, seven months of weekly chemotherapy on Herceptin and Taxol uh, through an IV under the guidance of Dr. Lori Goldstein. And it was an incredibly emotional and trying time. I lost my hair, I lost my eyebrows, I lost many of my eyelashes, and thankfully I didn't lose the hope that it was all going to be better. And now three years out, I am feeling great. I still receive treatments every three weeks of Herceptin, and uh, I did have surgery this summer, but at my last set of scans, I was basically cancer-free. They suspect that the cancer is microscopic and perhaps it will come back one day, but I have lots of hope that that won't happen. I've always enjoyed being active. Um, I grew up skiing and playing sports in school and uh, as an adult, as a mom, I've been a runner. And I found that once I started treatment and especially having just had a child that I was sort of eager, <laughs> certainly post baby, to, to get active again. And then with the Taxol, I didn't always feel so great. Um, it was hard some days. I was discouraged and I wasn't feeling my best, but I was able to get out and walk, sometimes even a slow jog. And I'd like to think that it was moving the medicine through me, that there was no corner where cancer, where cancer could hide. I wanted to be after it. I wanted to be aggressive with it. And it also afforded me 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time I took for exercise to be without my cell phone, to be on my own and to have my own thoughts. And I was able to really push that cancer patient identity into the background and I was athlete again, I was runner again. I have continued with those sports. Um, I run the Race for the Cure in Philadelphia um, each year and very proudly I have finished first um, as a first survivor um, last year and um, the year before. It's such a thrill to be out there with all of those other survivors, those women in pink, they are absolutely the most inspirational group ever and um, I hope to get out there again this year and do it. Um, I've done the Philly Half Marathon a couple of times since I've finished my heavy treatment and uh, I intend to keep going. It, it makes me feel good and I think it's really important that patients continue with the things they love or maybe use this as an opportunity to start something new but athletics and sports just make me feel healthy and alive. It's, it's wonderful. I know that having been diagnosed with breast cancer, it is an emotional and a physical blow that no one can ever really measure the impact that it's going to have on an individual. You can be strong, you can be someone who has many challenges, and we just don't know how we're going to respond. My husband has been 
amazing. He has been supportive and encouraging. He has been the first to say, you can't get down because you're going to do this. And there's never been a doubt in his mind that we weren't going to get to where we are today, where we don't feel like I have stage four breast cancer, where the treatment time that was so challenging is just a memory that my children are now growing up with a mom who looks like I should look and acts like I should act and, and they're happy. We rake leaves and we play baseball and we have weekends where we go skiing in the wintertime. It's outstanding and I'm very fortunate to be here, but it's so important that the families are embraced in this process. I am so very relieved that Fox Chase is here and that I am here because without Fox Chase, my life would have been incredibly different. I've been able to maintain the life that I was living. Our family didn't have to move. We didn't have to modify our schedules. I was able to come to a wonderfully warm hospital where I see familiar faces, big smiles, and know that there are outstanding professionals taking care of me. I'm going to be a patient at Fox Chase for the rest of my life, and I am forever indebted to them for their caring and intellect and good humor because all those pieces make it such a special place and I am so thankful for that.